Howdy everyone, Mr. Kaji here from beautiful Atascacita, Texas with another problem of the week. So get your uh, periodic tables out, get your pencils and papers, and let's do this week's problem, which is dealing with electron configuration and orbital notation. How do you write the orbital notation for copper? All right, well, the first thing we want to do is determine the number of electrons in copper. And so get out your periodic table. And let's look. Copper has 29 electrons. Now remember, I should say, if it has 29 protons, then it's going to have 29 electrons. Because remember, in a stable atom, the number of protons equals the number of electrons. And of course, all the atoms on the periodic table are considered to be stable. So how do you write the orbital notation of copper? Copper has 29 electrons, so let's build a plan and start with a periodic table here. Now this is the Mr. Kazi periodic table, which is blank. But I do know that copper is right here. Okay. And uh, I'll look at it and notice there are four energy levels. And the energy levels coincide with the period. So we know that we're going to go through one, two, three, four energy levels. And remember that we have the orbital blocks. So we're going to go 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s, and then 3d. So to the magic blackboard, electron configuration, copper has 29 electrons. And I'm going to start out with 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. Then notice, remember we have the overlap, 4s2, and then 3d9. Now this is what most people would think is going to happen. But not only is there an overlap, we need to also remember that there's an electron jump. And an electron jumps from 4s to 3d. And we actually are going to get 4s1, 3d10. Why that happens can be discussed in another video. What you need to know is that it does happen. So I'll, we have that electron jump when we're at chromium. We have it here at copper. And we have it at a few other elements. And they're usually the elements that are in the fourth and the ninth positions of the transition metals. Let's look at the orbital notation. The orbital notation here is going to be oh, 1s2. And then we're going to do 2s2, 2p. Now, Remember Hund's rule? Each one has to have an electron in the P's, D's, and F's before we pair. So we follow Hund's rule. Now here's our 3s. But then there's 4s and 3d. So to get the third energy level completely done, we also have to start the fourth energy level. Hund's rule again. Now notice we keep doing this until we have them all filled. Now again, there's Hund's rule. And we think that's good, but remember, we had the electron jump. And so we're going to jump from the 4s to the 3d, just like we did with electron configuration. And there we go. Notice we made the jump from here all the way over to here. And so when we look at that, this jump, we also believe, contributes to the reason that we have copper 1 and copper 2. Recap. Using your periodic table, we were able to determine the number of electrons, determine the energy level, determine the orbitals, write the electron configuration, write the orbital notation. All right, if you have any questions, as usual, send an email to mrkazi at mrkazi.com. And don't forget to check out Mr. Kazi's world and subscribe to my YouTube. Happy odds, everyone.